I think that more than anything, I wanted to come and be respectful of the history of the race and I think the other competitors and not just come to sort of have a glorified vacation. You know, I wanted to come in when I thought I could put down a performance that was sort of worthy of, of showing up. I mean, it's a world championship. You want to show up when you feel like you can present a world championship caliber performance. And I think, uh, you know, I think you need to sort of, obviously you need to be solid on the bike and I think you need to sort of either be a solid swimmer where you can get out and sort of, you know, put yourself in a really good position and then try and hold people off or you, if you're not as good a swimmer, you need to have that run where you can try and reel people in. And I thought I had that, uh, you know, a better run in me than I'd shown and then finally in Texas, I think I, I put that down with a, with a 246 high and so I thought, okay, you know, now I feel like I can go and I can, I can have the race that I think is, you know, that I know that I have in me and I think I can be respectful of the fact that this is the biggest, this is the biggest race in our sport and that I'm not just showing up to sort of have a Hawaii vacation and I want to come out and, and you know, be in the mix and hopefully I can. And I think uh, if I can have a day like I've had at some of the other races this year, I think that's possible, but obviously, you know, you got to see what, what you get on the race day. I think the big thing is when you look at the history of this race is 90% of doing well is not beating yourself. I think people are said like, how well do you think you're going to do? And I said, you know, I'll start thinking about where I might finish in terms of placing with 10K to go. And then before that, I'm going to worry about just not being that guy that, you know, is a 246 runner who runs a 446, you know, and ends up finishing, you know, walking big chunks of marathon. I think if if you put together a solid race here, I think, and you're a good athlete, I think you can finish well, and that's really going to be my focus, you know, until I hit that 20 mile mark, and then I'll look at who's behind me and, you know, trying to breathe down my neck and who might be up the road and if I can catch him, and that's really the, the focus I have, you know, in terms of a strategy, I guess, for this race, but it certainly is different being here as an athlete. Last year was my first trip to the island for the specialized launch, but, you know, I rode out uh, the north part of the course, which I'd never seen, and I mean, I think, uh, people talk a lot about the energy of the island, and I mean, it, it was certainly very special. You know, I did did some runs, uh, you know, where it's just you and black lava, and I mean, there's there's something that's, that's pretty magical about being out here and knowing that you're going to be racing on those roads, and I think this is a special place, and I, I feel quite privileged to be here a, as an athlete. Great. Yeah, we can't wait to 